I'm going to be showing you how to get all the eggs for Merlin Swamp. Now, first, you got to get there. You can't normally travel there through the Excyclopedia, Excyclopedia, or Excyclopedia, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you need to go to the Wonderland first, and then you just want to follow this path I've been taking right here. There may be other ways to get there. Anyways, it's somewhere like midway up to the uh, big tree. Uh, you can bounce up the mushrooms to get there. I believe there are other ways to get there, but for me, this is the fastest, and you're just going to find the book right up here, and you're going to teleport to it. Anyways, guys, the first egg you're going to uh, want to find here is the L egg gator, which is basically just like the teapot for the Wonderland. It can be found about anywhere, like just now I just found it sitting here. Uh, like I said, it can be found about anywhere, just like the teapot. Alright, next you're going to want the night egg, or the uh, the good night egg. So basically what you want to do is you want to head right behind spawn to this little like crash castle area. Now people are already doing it by the time I got here. Basically what you want to what you want to do is you want to get it to charge at you and then when you see the stars above its head, jump on it to knock off its armor pieces. And as you're going to see, uh, it's already got all its armor pieces off now, but it just charged at someone and now the stars are above it. And once the, all the armor pieces are off and you do that, you're able to get the egg just like I did. Now, before you're going to probably need to do some more work because you got to get the armor pieces off, but it's just a repeat of cycle of steps or the same thing you got to do over and over again. And now for the final egg. Now, the final egg is the dragon egg. And for this, you want to climb the tower, talk to the wizard. And after that, he's going to tell you uh, that you're going to need five pieces of armor. Now, I'm going to show you exactly where all five pieces of armor are. Uh, so just follow the paths I take. Make sure you reset when I reset. Um, when it comes to the sword, when you get there, make sure you just do the mini game right. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is hit A and D and keep your bar within the area. Uh, once you get all the armor pieces and the sword, you want to head back to the wizard and wait to fight the dragon. As you can see on the wall when it says it's ready, the uh, you talk to him and go to to battle. Now what you're going to want to do is the dragon's going to be breathing fire. So you're going to want to get on these stone pads. Now it took me a while because this was actually my first time because the egg's been glitched recently and they just fixed it. So you're just going to want to get on these stone pads and wait for it to breathe fire. Once it's done breathing fire and all that's left is smoke, is you're going to want to jump on the head and click on it. Now, I don't know how many times this took, because I don't know how many times it actually worked for me. Uh, it may just be one, but once you do that at least three times, I think, or at least one time at most three times, you will get the dragon egg. So if this video helped you guys out, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, uh, if you know of any other eggs that I may not know of already. Um... I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the infection egg probably in the next one. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.